Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm going to be sharing some frugal ideas on how I store stuff. I'm actually going to do a couple short videos just so that you can kind of pick and choose what you need to see and what you need to store. I did a really big craft room tour last year, which was nicely edited and went in all the nooks and crannies of my room here. Um, if you want to see that, I'll link that down below or probably in a little card up in the corner of the screen. If not, up there, definitely in the video description. Um, so what I'm going to do this year is just kind of go through and show you the things that have changed unless there's like an overwhelming uh, request for another full craft room tour that way you can just kind of see what's changed so the first thing I want to share with you today is my acrylic paint storage and this I just did um, a couple days ago actually I had this case back here it's unfortunately no longer available it's by a company called um, canvas collections or canvas collectibles and I had my acrylic paints on top and my oil paints down bottom and they were my nicer of the two paints and that worked great except for the fact that um, um, sometimes when my kids were using acrylic paints they would accidentally grab a tube of oil paints and they would ruin their project and this happened quite a few times so I finally decided that I wanted to separate my acrylics and oils and also get more of those paints out of drawers I just have some clear bins over here where I was oh I can't move that where I was keeping my paints and I have some like chalk paints and stuff in there still but um, and I was able to put them here. So what I did was I just basically grabbed all the different brands of paint that I had and I just dumped them out all on the floor. Took just just dumped them on the floor. And then I went made a list of the different categories how I would like to um, divide up my paint. So I have pinks and peaches, kind of like your your Caucasian fair skin tones, uh, magentas, crimson reds, uh, warm reds, oranges, yellow ochre, because I have a lot of different raw siennas, yellow ochres, those natural yellows, um, warm yellows, cool yellows, yellow greens, neutral greens, like sap green, hooker's green, that sort of thing, um, I have mid greens, uh, blue greens and then um, cool blues warm blues purples metallics and then I have blacks grays whites and uh, Browns and I have the browns divided by warm and cool and I think I have one pouch It's just for burnt sienna, but you can get a lot of paint in one of those um, One of those shoe holders now. This is a recycled one. This was in my son's bedroom He didn't want it anymore And I remembered that it was in storage and I hadn't chucked it or donated it because I knew it would come in handy someday So um, I loaded it up after I divided up my paints and then I was like geez I wish it was clear because if it was clear I could see what I had but now I'm glad it wasn't clear because what I did was I went through my scrap paper bin and I just pulled out a scrap of cardstock to represent each color family and I just wrote on them so that way it's going to be easy for me to find what I want easy for the kids to find because I can say anything in that gray uh, rack there is acrylics go ahead and use it and um, if they don't know where to put it back they can just leave it on my counter or in a tray or in my uh, little rouse cog bin there and I can put it back when I get a chance so that way there'll be no grabbing oil paints by mistake from my kids and I can have all my acrylics in one place and see what I want so there's today's tip for you how to store acrylic paints or at least how I do it and if you have a great way to store your acrylic paints let me know in the comments below and that will help the whole community get more organized and share some really great ideas because what's a great idea for me might not be for you someone might have fewer paints than me and that wouldn't work someone may have um, a lot more than I have and that wouldn't work if you have fewer you could always use half for paints and half for something else if you've got little kids and you don't want them into your paints you could put paints up high and put like um, pom-poms and pipe cleaners down low something that, that you let them get to so just take the idea and see how you can make it work in your craft room that's all I have for right now and I'm gonna go film a few more of these guys just so I can share what's new so keep a look out for those videos and until next time happy crafting